And they are absolutely awesome. We do a whole video on the different types out there. Right. But there's one thing that sucks about them. Dosing. Dosing. If you don't do it right, you could run into more problems than if you didn't use one at all. As my father used to say, up Shits Creek without a paddle. And that just sounds horrible. Uh, but you'd just be stuck in a creek full of shit. Right, which would which be is, a problem. So normally when we use topical additives or admixtures, we use something like this. And we're referring to the liquid right. version. So this is a low pressure handheld Chapman sprayer. Right. Chapman. Chapman spray. There's a lot of different companies out there. You can grab at Home Depot. Walmart even. They Walmart. like in their garden section, they have these great little pups right there. One to two really gallons. Well. Yeah. They're fantastic. The HDS. And you can right, throw right. Them out. right. Uh, not as durable, but you know, the, the thing is when you look at the back of most of these topical additives and admixtures, you're gonna see something like this. <laughs> two hundred and fifty to a thousand square feet per gallon. That's a pretty broad range. What, no, what does that even mean? So it's just, and that, that's, the, that's the whole issue with right. the mystery. Like, first of all, what does this mean? When somebody says, somebody says, to, so this is a quiz for you, without looking and thinking about it, real quick, what is a higher dosage? 250 square feet per gallon yes. or 1,000 square feet? Okay, that's because you work in this industry. That's not fair. I, could, I knew that. You did not know. Yes, I did. Less coverage, you're going to have a higher concentration. Right. It's pretty so, straightforward. Okay, because you guys are smart, I did not know that. I actually had to do the math and figure out, huh, I got more square feet per my gallon, so... <laughs> so, it is, to me, it's the hardest thing, not only to really understand it, because when I see a larger number, I normally think it's a higher dosage rate. This is the 1,000 square feet per gallon you are putting, you're getting more coverage for that gallon. Right, so it's less concentrated. But, less concentrated. But the other thing is, how the heck do you measure that with sure. this? This is a pump with a, a wand. <laughs> There's no square foot per gallon measurement <laughs> to it. So, you really, there, there's two ways of, of doing it. One way is lie. <laughs> And I've been done. what? It's true. You go on a job site and you ask somebody, hey, and then you see him spraying. How much are you spraying there? They're like, oh, about 500 square feet per gallon. Bullshit. <laughs> How do you know you're spraying 500 square feet per gallon? Like, oh, you know, I can tell by the shine and how much. You don't know. No, you don't know. There's really, <laughs> there's really only one way to know. And it starts with an E, and it ends with experiment. Right. All together? Experiment. Just see how much coverage you get for a gallon. So what I've done before is, I've actually gone through and pumped my sprayer, timed how long it took to get a third of a gallon, a half a gallon, a quarter of a gallon. Right. But do an actual time, because that, that pump that you do doesn't last very long. Right. So you have to know, hey, if I pump seven or eight times, if I get to a full pump, or what seems like a full pump, and I spray it for 30 seconds or a minute, right. what is coming out? What right. volume of liquid is coming out? Right. And then from there, if you have a 10 by 10, that's how many square feet, Whitney? 100. 20 by 20? 400. 25 by 25? 500. Is it? 25 by 25? No. 525? 625. 625? I think so. 625. 30 by 30 is, six, is 900. Oh shit, my 625. It's 625. You bet you a dollar. Well, you don't make it seem like you're all smart. You're using your calculator. 625. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was my third guess. It took me a moment. So, you again, said so okay, so you make it easier. Measure off a 10 foot by 10 foot section, or 250 square feet, which is 10 by 25. Something. Um, so measure off that square area, and 
make sure you're getting that coverage, that one gallon is being sprayed out. Right. And then from there, if you want to see what the spray looks like, I, I guess you can. Right. But until you know your sprayer and the viscosity of the liquid that you're using sprayed out, sure. you can't make that judgment. Yeah, because you don't know if things are getting dumped up and caught up in there too. So. Well, and then you don't know how much is coming out in that spray time with the full. And sure. the thing is, if you just let it go until it needs to be pumped again, you're not getting the same amount of volume coming out of that spray nozzle. So. Couldn't you just put a gallon in though and then pump it until that's If gone? you have 250 square feet to use or, or to mess with, mm -hmm. you could definitely do that. But then that'll help you know. So there's, yeah, there's different ways of doing it. Right. One way is lying and the other way is actually experimenting. Doing so, sort of track. Now, there are uh, automated versions of these or, or, or pressurized, not hand. Hand pumps, so you but can like set the dosage. Yeah, so you can that's set. Awesome. Well, I don't know if you can set the dosage, but you can change the nozzle tip, so you can change the amount that's coming out. That's but um, you also don't have to pump it. You have a continuous amount, assuming you have a steady air flow. pressure. Sure. Yeah, well, steady air pressure, continuous flow. Sure. So, um, yeah, I was always confused by this in the beginning. It took me a long time to really understand how to mess with the uh, handheld sprayer. Similar to a handheld penetrometer. <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> That's enough. Well, you're chuckling. Yeah, I am. Are you chuckling more at your laugh? <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us today. We hope you learned something. We hope you helped us out. Uh, let us know if you got any questions or comments. Go concrete. Beat us.